good to be with you. I pray that you get blessed today from the Word of God. As far as I know, it wasn't against the law to say something on the porch of the temple. And as far as I know, it wasn't against the law to uh, heal somebody that had been lame ever since birth. But they got arrested the day before and st spent the night in jail for healing a lame man and proclaiming that Jesus was the Son of God. And so the next day, it's got a list of different priests here, and they're all Sadducees, don't believe in the resurrection. They placed these guys, Peter and John, in the center, and they began to say, by what power and what name have you done this? In other words, who authorized you to talk <laughs> and heal somebody? Now it says here, Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that you have to keep on being filled with the Holy Spirit. You confess your sins and yield to God and allow him to fill you, but sin creeps into your life and you have to do that over again. One baptism of the Holy Spirit, many fillings is what God's word teaches. But remember this same Peter denied that he even knew Jesus whenever Jesus was in that mock trial in the middle of the night. And now he's speaking to the same people. And listen to what he says. <laughs> Rulers and elders of the people, if we're on trial today for a benefit done to a sick man, in other words, what in the world are you doing arresting us because some sick man got well? As to how this man's been made well, let it be known to you and all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, wait a minute, we didn't crucify him, the Romans did. Yeah, they pretty well got the Romans to do it. It's fully understood that they were the ones that got the ball rolling to get Jesus crucified. Whom God raised from the dead, this man stands before you in good health. And then he speaks about Jesus, the prophecy in Psalm 118, and Jesus used that prophecy too. The stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. In other words, this Jesus that they rejected as Messiah is the foundation upon which everlasting life and the church are built. And then verse 12 is a good verse to memorize. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The name of Jesus. If you're trusting your own good works to get you into heaven, you're trusting your name. And the Bible says your name isn't good enough. The only name is the worthy name of Jesus who bore all of our sins on the cross, rose from the dead, and gives everlasting life to anybody who calls on him. I hope that you've done that. God bless you. Done.